Hey guys and gals, just another quick test following on from my last video. Today I'm measuring the PAR output of the Sun Systems ACDE reflector with and without the glass. First job is to unscrew the safety braces and then it's best to have all hands on deck to remove the glass panel. Now because the glass panel is gone, I figure the light is going to sit about 3 or 4 millimeters lower on my test rig here, so I'm going to add some cardboard spacers just to try and keep all other variables as equal as possible. Yeah, I know, I know Heath Robinson is back, but hey, this is not a certified light testing laboratory, people. It's just me geeking it up in my basement. So, let's get on and do this. I'm using my nine point square again, just like last time. The only difference is that the glass cover is gone. Same electronic ballast, obviously, the Galaxy Grow amp set to 1000 watts. Sorry, the 1000 watt double ended HPS lamp is causing my video camera to feel a bit nauseous, so I'm going to keep this quick for your viewing pleasure. Just a quick point, you can see how important it is to take steps to maximize accuracy. Just a few millimeters difference in the placement of the sensor equals a big change in the reading. You also have to be careful not to inadvertently reflect light from your body onto the sensor by getting too close. You see, even this piece of paper is creating quite a large fluctuation. The Sun System ACDE reflector is unique, as far as I know, and that it's possible to vent the reflector with or without the glass case. This is because the cooling chamber is actually above the lamp, so it removes convection heat rather than passing air directly over the lamp itself. I'm therefore testing the output both with and without an 8 inch hyperfan running at 100% power. So on to the results. Let's remember our benchmark, the PAR readings with the glass cover on and no cooling, the average over the 9 points was 1158 micromoles. By removing the glass, the average PAR reading went up to 1218 micromoles. That's an increase of 5%. With the hyperfan running, remember, still without any glass panel, the average PAR reading across the grid was 1,121 micromoles. Three micromoles more? What? No, I don't think the hyperfan increases PAR output. It's probably just a little inaccuracy in my readings despite my best efforts. Conclusion? Even super clean glass will reduce PAR output by around 5%. Dusty, dirty glass could waste many times more. So if you're using air-cooled reflectors, clean them regularly, people. Remember that a 5% drop in par is more than compensated for by the fact that you can probably lower your hoods by at least a few inches without causing heat stress to your plant canopy. Just bear in mind that by lowering your lights, you're not only increasing the intensity, but decreasing the size of your footprint too. Finally, I think it's pretty cool, pun intended, that you can still remove heat from the ACDE reflector without the glass panel and without lowering power output. Kind of like the best of both worlds. I mean, have your cake and eat it too, people. I'm seriously impressed with the design of this fixture. Okay, let me know what you thought of my test and how I could improve it. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing to my channel. This is Everest saying bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.